Hello my fellow YouTubers and this is custom commentary with another review of another Mythic Legions figure called Faunus and once again the Four Horsemen with this Mythic Legions collection is it's just just mind boggling that's all I can say it's just whoever comes with these up with these schemes <laughs> I mean, Faunus, Antlers, oh my God, this, all right, let's, let's sit him back, and um, right, let's look at the box, which is all the same, Mythic Legions, and the picture of Faunus, and there is a read up on him, there's Faunus. I'll zoom in if you want to read that, pause that. Silver Horn Sentry, these funnest is an integral component in the defense of Castle Silver Horn. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, enough of that. By saying you got some characters, more figures on the back side. As we see, Faunus. Yeah, so that's it for the box. Let's get Faunus out. Look at, take a closer look at him. He just looks amazing. Amazing. My God, man, who comes up with these? Look at this. Let's look, take a close look at the, Look at the, oh, wow. The eyes. Like this piercing green eyes like man and as you know i'm not going to spend too much time with the articulation because it's the same as the others this is the 1.0 body he doesn't have upper torso or joint so let's sit him back and the accessories he come with is his staff two shoulder pads um the shield he comes with a sheath to the holist uh, weapons he comes with this skirt piece and the way you apply this to put this on you um pull the torso off and it's on a, it's a big ball peg you will take this up pull this off the shield um, his armor piece right here and this has a hole you just place it over the peg, put the um, armor back on, and put his upper torso back on. And that's all you do. And my girlfriend, the one, um, puts it in the in the back like this. I seen other reviews where they had it all the way around, but it was covering up his armor. And she said it, it looks better like that. And I agree with her. I most definitely agree with that. That is. Awesome, man. Look at that. And he does come with, um, let's see the other accessories. A lot of these figures they made has that wing uh, accessory. Like if you want to order him some wings, but I will not be getting the wings with this one. You've seen the wings on Ur Queen Urza. And I ordered wings for the Vampire Knight. But this one would look good without wings. And this are more accessories. And this is the wing piece for smaller wings, like I said, like, just like the other ones. These are for your larger wings. And as you can see, the difference in the whole size. And also, this piece, I have to find out what it is. I'm not going to spend much time with that. A sheaf to store your... Also, he has a sword. And a lot of these are the same weapons. They're just painted different, as you can see. Very nice. Yeah, you store it in here like this. So, that's cool. And he also comes with a little knife. And a knife holder with has a clip that's very sweet that's his knife 
zoom in on that detail. Very nice. Yeah, let me just pay, put it in here. Ooh. Man, these things are just remarkable. As you can just step back. Man, just amazing. One head sculpt, one set of hands. That's about like with all of them. Like I said, I won't do no articulation on this one because it's the same as the other ones. I just wanted you to see. Man, this is so... He got um, leaves for ears. Let's look at this head scope close up. I can sit this back a little bit. But yeah, man, look at the... That's sweet. Man. Got sort of a, a feline face. But still, man, this is so nice. You got broken off branches, as you can see. Very nice, man. They are unique. I must say, they are unique pieces. Yeah. So let's stand him up. And a single elbow joint, uh, elbow uh, swivel, uh, forearm swivel, uh, just the standard uh, method lesions, articulation, uh, good ankle pivot, uh, single knee joint, same as the others. It's the exact same. But, yes, I just want to show you guys this awesome piece, man. And it just, it's just awesome. This is soft pliable, and you can see the colors under there. Let's see. Can we pick that up? Look at them colors. Look at the design. It's just awesome piece, man. Awesome. They stand really well. It's just, it's just mind boggling. It's just art. Okay, and let's do a height measurement on him. Then we'll do some height comparisons. He stands at the top of his antlers. He's almost eight inches tall, but I'm gonna say seven and three quarters. So he got some size. All right, we'll push his accessories aside. And let's do a couple of height comparisons with some other figures. All right, first we'll do SH Figure Arts Infinity War Hulk. See, Hulk is a little taller with his head angling down. We will do, I think this is a Marvel Select. It's old figure or diamond select venom. Let's put him on this side and get a better. This is an awesome figure, one of the best. And they're actually about the same height. Yeah, so they, he, that's pretty cool. Uh, we will do. Uh, old Mezco Hellboy, which I do have him, you know, spread it out. Awesome piece, too. I love the Mezco Hellboys. And Hellboy with his horns, a little bit taller, but actually the head size, but they about the same height. Okay. Let's do an SH Figure Arts. Uh, son of Goku, I believe. I may be wrong, but I know it's a Goku. Which he's taller than Goku. Mm. Yeah, so I think that looks very cool. 
yeah so this is the mythic legions faunus very nice figure guys very nice figure very impressive let's move these guys out the way oh, it's about faunus yeah so yeah that would be the conclusion of uh mythic legions four horsemen faunus very unique figure very unique pieces very satisfied and like always if you got any requests questions hit me up in the comments and i will be sure to get back with you all right this is custom comments signing out peace